We're up at the start now of the Stoner Challenge Trophy. This is an internationally contested final. And two lightweight crews going up against each other here, Greg. Yeah, two lightweight crews. Look at that American double just sitting off the boat, the state boat there. The state boat boy's now going to have to reach out because he's let it drift just a little bit too far. But I guess what it's showing is he's clearing some weed or something, which we want to do at Henley to make sure they're clean uh, races and you don't want to get any of that weed caught around your fin. Um, what you see, we're clearing course up. What you can also see is the wind has died, so there's no wind there. Um, which we've had in the earlier rounds where this boat would have been getting blown straight back into the state boat. Yeah, hugely different conditions here on the final day at Henley Royal Regatta 2022. It's so still up here. You've got the shelter of the island. The stream is, you know, almost non-existent. Beautiful flat water here. And you can see the Aussies there uh, front and centre of your picture. Um, who are enjoying just these moments of calm before what will be one of the most important races, potentially, you know, of their lives, of their season. Um, this, you know, new combination, I, I think uh, they're going to be feeling the pressure, Greg. They'll be feeling the pressure and they're trying to remain calm with the distractions that are going on around them. These aren't normal sort of situations, racing on a river like this with a crowd like that. People often shout encouragement, maybe at the times when you don't need it, can be a bit distracting. Um, they'll be waiting for the umpire's launch to swing in behind them. Um, and then when the umpire comes to their feet, then they'll know it's more or less time to slide forwards, um, get ready to square the blades up and USA, get ready to go. Australia, when I see that you are straight and ready, I shall start you like this. Attention. Go. Get ready, please. So Molly Reckford and Michelle Sexer will line up for the USA on the left-hand side of your picture. And it will be Annika Ridden and Lucy Coleman for Australia on the Buckinghamshire station on the right-hand side of your screen. They've come Attention. forward Go. to take the first few strokes of their final here in the Stoner Challenge Trophy. And there's no wind, there's a few little waves, but they've made their way really nice and cleanly over those. Looking down the line of the boat from Australia, and what a lovely line they've taken off the start, Camilla. Yeah, absolutely awesome here from Reardon and Coleman for the Australian uh, national team. They're a brand new comp uh, you know, competitive double. They've only just walked onto the international scene a couple of weeks ago at the Poznan World Cup, the second World Cup of the season. And it looks like they got their bows out in front in those first five strokes. But the Americans, certainly the favourites on paper, having uh, beaten them at that international meetup a few weeks ago. Yeah, but we all know that being compatible on paper doesn't necessarily mean you're going to make a fast boat on the water and you'll team up as a good pairing in the end. So let's see how this one goes. We see uh, Annika Reardon there taking a look to her right and she's going, yep, we're the Australian lightweight double. That's the American lightweight double. And we're pretty much sitting on their bows. So this is going well so far. Yeah, it just goes to show the pedigree of these international crews, both lightweight crews making the final here in the Stoner Challenge Trophy. And, uh, you know, just to bear in mind, this is an open event. It means that they've come through the rounds having beaten open weight athletes. And uh, both of these currently ranked uh, among some of the best in the world, Greg. Yeah, of course, Camilla, that's very important to point out. This is an open weight, it's an open event. We don't have lightweight here at Henley. These athletes would normally have to weigh in before racing they haven't had to do that today um, and look how the australians here i think the angle is slightly um they're deceiving us but they're getting out towards that boat length which will help them at least disappear from view of the americans beside them yeah great start here for the australians lucy coleman in the stroke seat will be able to just about see the bow of the american crew molly reckford who's come back into this crew having uh, suffered from COVID uh, just following the World Cup in Poznan two weeks ago. She was got stuck in Italy. She wasn't able to get over here to Henley Royal Regatta for the opening stages of this Stoner Challenge Trophy, but they were able to have a substitute on board. Fellows raced uh, in the earlier stages with Michelle Sexer, uh, but Retford now back here for the final in what is their quite well-seasoned combination that uh, went to the Tokyo Olympic Games, Greg. Well, all sorts of moving parts as well as moving ducks on the Henley course. And as you say, how will they have been able to deal with the fact that there was that um, 
COVID that they had to deal with, having to row with a spare, now having to change the crew again. Hopefully, as you say, it'll be like getting back into a comfy pair of shoes, that now they're back in the double together, it'll all feel good for them. Well, they're on neutral turf here at Henley Royal Gatta in the UK. The US, the Australians, are, you know, about as far different of combinations as you could get. Wreckford and Sexer fifth at the Olympic Games in the lightweight double skull category. The Australians, as we've already mentioned, brand new to international competition, a brand new combination, and they've got their season off to a good start. They're going to be really pleased to be up here matching the US at this point in the race. Yeah, they certainly will, and it's lovely. We ask all the athletes what are the highlights of their rowing careers to date. Uh, and these two Australian athletes said the highlight so far was picking up the silver medal at the World Cup 2 in Poznan just two weeks ago. Let's see whether this could end up being the highlight of their career, that whether they could pick up the win at Henley. But as we see this one bow on bow, what do you think we've got here, Camilla? Yeah, this is teeing up to be an absolutely sensational race and something that we actually expect, you know, from lightweight crews. Uh, it's, we often see it on the international stage because the weight of all of these athletes has to be the same. You know, there's, there was a weight limit for their international racing season, of course, not here at Henley Royal, but they need to keep on weight uh, and it makes for really matched racing usually. Well, it does make for matched racing. And as those stewards there came past that half mark, halfway mark, the Forley, I think there was a signal that said the crews are level, but I'm not sure they're level now. I think the crew to the right of our pitcher, Sesha and Reckford have moved in front, but they've also moved into the middle, haven't they? They are, they're just drifting and umpire John Hedger, he's not got uh, any flag out yet. And just as I say that, I saw the, the megaphone being picked up in the umpire's launch. He's watching this with a keen eye to see whether he thinks that Wreckford and Sexer of the USA are just drifting across their station. And you can see them there poised and ready. Um, but at the moment, Greg, he seems to be happy. Yeah, the umpire seems to be happy there because I think the Australians have actually steered such a good line on the left of our picture. They've kept their distance from the booms absolutely perfect all the way along the island, all the way along the course. The Americans have bounced along a little bit. They've now taken themselves back to their station. It hasn't helped them, but even with that, it looks like they might have come through here and got their bow in front. Yeah, still overlap between these two crews. It was a five second difference between gold and silver at the second World Cup in Poznan, the USA clinching that gold on that occasion. So still to be within, well, that's probably about a second separating them at this point in the race if we were to convert it. Um, oh, but still look at this steering. This could cost them a few seconds here, Greg. It's certainly going to cost them a few seconds when you see them wander out like this. And earlier in the week, the headwind was so strong and we we're seeing these pictures and, and being harsh on people steering. Today, there's no wind on the course. It's pretty calm and nice. I can't help thinking maybe the American doubles here are thinking, let's let ourselves drift into the middle and maybe send up huddles towards them a little bit. This is a little bit of a try and give ourselves as much of a help as we can on this shared course with no boys in the middle to keep us apart. Great little look there from Annika Reardon in the bow seat for the Australian double, the, the lady from Tasmania. She's uh, the closest at the moment to this USA crew of Wreckford and Sexer. And there we have it. And in fact, actually, I thought it was John Hedger. In fact, I think it's Ben Helm umpiring this one. Uh, correction from me there. But he has, in fact, worn the USA for the first time in this race for their steering. Yeah, I think that's right, that they should be warned for their steering, they should go back, they haven't caused great interference, the Australians on the left of our picture, as you say, Annika Reardon in the bow seat, as we have a look now at the back of Molly Rackford, Michelle Setcher in front of her, and they are on their station now, they're in control, and I think they're actually moving. You can see that marker board on the left for everyone on the course to see, the mile and one eighth showing boat number one is the US, boat number two is the Australians, and there's nearly a length gap between those two boards, just as there's nearly a length gap between these two crews. Yeah, and there we are, we're looking at the bow seat, Molly Reckford, who's recovered from COVID to be racing here at Henley Royal Regatta today. The Dartmouth alumni who uh, backs up Michelle Sexer in the stroke seat from the University of Tulsa, and uh, they've now broken clear water, and it looks like it's gonna be seasoned, uh, the season combination here over the newcomers to the international scene. The uh, pedigree on paper proving true in this Stoner Challenge Trophy final as the USA 
Molly Reckford and Michelle Sexer did all the important work in the middle part of this final to triumph in the Stoner Challenge Trophy for elite double skulls here at Henley Royal Regatta. And look, a, a very calm sort of uh, processing here for the US, no big celebrations from them. Yeah, no huge celebrations, but they've been pushed to the edge. I think the Australians were very brave the way they took it out, took it on, but the Americans came through the middle um, and uh, a good win for them. I think the Australians will be pleased. Good progress for them. As we say, a new double coming together um, and these two crews will head on. I'm sure they'll head on towards Lucerne. They'll keep drafting and getting themselves faster and quicker, ready for the next race. But today it was all about Henley Royal Regatta and it was all about this double.